got guys what we're going to take y'all with us today. We got a sheep that's about to cat, uh, lamb, and it's our first one, so we're kind of nervous. But we're gonna take it in here to the barn, get away from the others. The ram is uh, kind of mean to him, like not mean. He just well, it's like just their nature. Yeah, I mean, they, <laughs> he just pushes them around and and wants to try to rebreed. So. And we're, she's so, showing signs of early labor right now, so we're gonna try and get her into the barn so she's comfortable and she's away from everyone and she can just relax and like have her baby in peace because like our male goat and like the ram, they just don't understand and so they'll just try and rebreed her because of the scent that it puts off when they have the baby, so. Right, but we're just gonna push her up by herself. Well, by herself, with that bottle cap that we uh, got the up the other day, she's gonna live with him for a little bit. We're gonna get them up and uh, yeah. So let's go. So we are gonna grab some feed in a little bucket so it kind of makes some noise. So we're gonna try and calmly just get her into the barn. Um, there's a little red barn right there. So we're gonna try and get her in there. So I'm gonna grab some feed real quick and see if we can get her over there. Ryan said to bring hay, but I'm gonna bring the grain because I feel like it'll work too. You gotta take the hay over there. They <laughs> said you need hay. She's that one right there. And see, she's kind of like separating herself from the herd a little bit. You, so. here, we're gonna make this easy on us. She's trying to get the rim to come in. Hey, you're, you're going to have to push them in. What? Just walk behind them. Walk around the tree. Don't walk at them. Walk around them. Don't go in there. See, they're pretty, ow. pretty hard to see them. I kind of want this other view. Just push them in here. It's open. Go, go, go there, cut them off, cut them off. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm gonna let Weeder back out. I'm gonna let Weeder out, he'll follow us. All right, so all we can get up is the rams. We're gonna set this real quick. We're gonna lock the use up. We're gonna try and get the rams and weeder the goat. So there's a working pen back here. So we're gonna try and get them to go in there and we'll hold them off and then we'll catch the, the ewes. Problem is wherever Waiter goes, that's where they want to go. It's kind of like a guardian. They're, they're shepherds, I guess you'd call it. So. so he's trying to lure them into the barn alleyway. And so I'm kind of hiding behind the barn so that I can shut the gate. I'm gonna show you. All right, so we finally got them all in here. We wanted to just try and get either the rams or the ewes, but we got them all. That was the only way to get them in. And we got to try to get them in all into the corral, and we'll sort them off there. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard to do. 
because they don't, they're just so wild. You got Miranda in there in the barn, she's gonna set the, set the trap whenever they come in. They're holding out pretty good. I'm gonna try to walk right behind them. We have two sheep caught up and one of them is the one we need that should be giving um, birth soon, but it's okay that they're together. Ryan's gonna go let these boys out and then we can work the ewes into the barn. Now what? We need to circle them back around in there. Oh boy. Okay, now that the girls are blocked off, the one on the right is the one that's pregnant and they're meeting the baby calf for the first time. That's going to be their roommate for the next couple days. Um, that's a little barn. They can go in and out of there. There's hay and water and bedding. So um, let's hope that they get comfortable. And our whole plan here is just to keep the new baby safe um, and keep her comfortable. So it's so cute watching them interact with each other. Well, I just got back from feeding the cows and she just had had a lamb. It's kind of hard to tell from this far away uh, and those leaves, but she's uh, she just pushed them out and cleaning on them. He's moving around. Everything looks healthy. We should have a lamb here to show you. We're gonna, gonna leave them alone for a little bit, try to stay hands off as much as we can. And just kind of let her, her do the deal. See what this other one thinks about it. It looks like she, she didn't have any problems. Um, it was a pretty quick process, probably 10 minutes or so. So, see his little head there. Yeah. Well, he looks, he looks just fine. So, glad, uh, glad it came out good. And I'm excited to show y'all. This is our first limb. So, we're here to, we're learning, but it's a pretty neat little deal. Okay, y'all, I can't get super close to her, but look at the baby. I don't know what it is yet. We're gonna give them time to settle in, and then we'll check. <coughs> hey, I'm trying to make a video. We're gonna give them time to settle in, and then I'll go check and see if it's a boy or a girl, but either way, it's so cute. Good morning. We're gonna go check on the baby sheep this morning and see how his first night was. So, oh, and we found out it was a boy. Um, I don't know if Ryan told you all that, but um, it's a little boy. So we're gonna go check on him and his mama. There's still so much snow on the ground and I'm annoyed. What? <laughs> Waiter, we're coming for you. He always lets us know when he's hungry, which is all the time, every day. The baby comes first, I'm sorry. <gasps> there he is. <laughs> and also a baby cow. How did y'all sleep? Well, they survived their first night together in the barn with their roommate. <laughs> and it looks like she's taking care of him. <laughs> he's got a lot of energy and, and he's eating. So that's really good. She's very like alert, which is awesome. She's a really good mama. I think we'll probably keep her. Since he is a little boy, he will most likely have to be sold. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> it's just always hard, but we have the other you over there. Didn't you say that she was bagged up? Oh, yeah, she'll be right behind her. 
so we he said yesterday that the other U was bagged up. It'll be about, I mean, five to ten days. She is bagged up. Oh. They back up five to ten days out. So she bagged up probably about five days before she had him. That, or that we know that she was bagging, so. Yeah. Well, we brought hay, but it looks like she has plenty. And then she has some grain and stuff over there just for her nutrients. So we want to take good care of her, too. Well, it looks like they're doing good. Oh. <laughs> You're rotten. This is a bottle calf that his stepdad had out of one of their heifers, and the mama is just not producing enough milk, so they're having to bottle feed him, and he thinks that every time we come out here, and we're trying to take care of them, he thinks he needs a bottle. So cute. Well, babe, anything else we need to do? Just keep them alive. Well, duh. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, <laughs> looks like they're doing good. She looks good. She's not sunk in or anything, so. Mm -hmm. Their little legs are so cute. Like, they're so big for his little body. <laughs> <laughs> 